what's going on YouTube my name is Chris welcome to my channel crispy fades this upload is the first upload in my channel my hopes are I upload once a week every week from here on out um, I'm still getting new equipment setting things up so it's gonna look different as we go along as you can see the weather sucks today I picked the worst day to come out here and start recording but I don't have a good light and I have to get this out I have to get this out now so I'm trying to use as much natural lighting as I can outside in my backyard, but it's starting to storm and it's thundering. As you can hear, my hopes with this channel is that I can teach somebody that's just getting into cutting hair that doesn't quite know how, how, how to work on different hair types, those difficult hair types or different styles that they don't do in the area that they're from. I just want to show a variety. I live in Central Florida. We see a little bit of everything. So I'll be able to show you a little bit of everything. I've been cutting for close to eight years now. I'm 26 years old. I've been in the same shop that I'm at for seven years. At the same time, I'm hoping that I can show some funny stuff that goes on in the shop. As my equipment starts coming in, I'll be able to start recording in a better area. It's hot out here right now, I'm sweating. I have a GoPro. I use a GoPro 7 Black. I use that to record my haircuts in, in the shop, but I don't have a, a microphone for it right now. So I'm using my iPhone, uh, my iPhone X to, um, to record this with a, with a regular, a regular uh, PlayStation <laughs> headset microphone. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to do a medium skin fade. The client doesn't want anything taken off the top. So I'm just gonna do the skin fade about halfway up faded into about a one and a half or a two i'll talk to you as we go through the video like i said as i get lighting uh camera attachments and everything it'll start getting better but uh anyways my first video let's get into it so to get started i'm just throwing on a two guard on my clippers and i'm just going with the grain at the crown to get rid of some of that bolt that's at the top it's going to be a medium skin fade so i don't want to have to blend the skin into too much hair Now I'm just flipping the clippers around just to take it a little bit shorter, a little bit too against the grain. Um, so it'll, it'll make it a little bit easier for me to blend everything in. Using a little bit of that clipper over comb technique so we don't take it, take too much off the top. Cause like I said, he doesn't want anything off the top. Right here, I'm taking a, a three guard and I'm putting it on my magic clips and I'm just taking my line up a little bit higher just to blend it into, into all the hair on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over here to a one. I'm gonna open the lever on my clippers and about halfway up, I'm gonna take all that hair down to a one with the guard all the way open. right here is that that fine tooth comb like this much better because it lays the hair down perfectly for me especially that thicker hair now as I fade with this one guard I'm gonna be opening and closing the clip so at the bottom of the hair it's closed and as I get up to the middle I'm opening the clip and it's just a, a slight transact transition very subtle but later on you'll see it makes a difference as you get higher up on the on the head I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of clipper over comb still with that one guard and uh, switch over to a one and a half guard and kind of blend in that one and a half or that one close into a one and a half closed, which is a perfect blend right there. I'm just gonna do that all the way around. Thank you. 
right here. Just gonna clean off my clippers. That's real important. The more hair that gets clogged up in your teeth, it's gonna stop your blades from cutting the hair. So every once in a while, you just wanna brush them off. And um, these are my fast feeds, Oster fast feeds. I just threw on the, um, the Zero Guard. And I'm just gonna, with the open, open lever, I'm just gonna fade that in. Right here, this is the flat top comb. I love this comb. This is my favorite comb to use for pretty much every haircut I do. But right here, a little more clipper over comb just to get rid of some of this bulk in the crown area. It's looking a little bit too dark and I like that transition to be a little more smooth. Now, after I fade that top half in, I'm gonna go ahead and make my balding line with my outliners. I'm gonna make the line all the way around the head. Keeping it low. Now, to get rid of all that hair underneath that balding line, I'm gonna use my um, BGRs with a 5-0 clip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all that hair at the bottom of the head. To me, guidelines aren't all that important. They don't have to be too straight because they're gonna get faded in anyways. If you get a good fade, nice blend, you won't see any of your lines. So as long as your guideline is kind of even and symmetrical on both sides, you fade it in, you're not gonna notice it at all. Right here, I just used some Remingtons and I got a Walmart for like 30 bucks. It does the same as these Andes and Walls foil shavers. Just gonna go ahead and skin everything at the bottom here. I've actually had most of the other foil shavers and these are my favorite by far. Right here, back to the fast speeds. No guard and I'm gonna open up the lever all the way. The way I have my clippers adjusted, my fast feeds and my magic clips are, are, are different. The blade on my fast feeds all the way open is about equivalent to a half guard on my, on my, um, on my magic clips. So I like to use my fast feeds to fade in the lines that I make with my magic clips. But anyways, I threw the one clip on here and I'm just gonna go ahead Open and closing the lever, fading in to the, fading down into the, the skin line that I made. So I'm throwing the one guard on there and I'm throwing the half guard and I'm just going and fading through. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the magic clip here. And uh, since these cut closer than my fast speeds, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a one and a half guard on here with a uh, open lever and just start fading this this little bulk line in at the top here and work my way down right here I took all the guards off my clippers these are my magic clip like I said they cut closer than my fast feeds with the lever all the way down it's just a little bit longer than a 5-0 so with the lever closed I'm just going to go ahead and hit this bottom line that I made and try to fade it out a little bit throw a, a half guard on my clippers here and uh, opening and closing the lever I'm gonna go ahead and fade that um that second line I made at the bottom into the skin and I'm just opening and closing my magic clips right here with the half guard on it trying to give it a 
stretched out fade. I was just checking the heat on my camera here. One thing I noticed recording with the GoPro is that they overheat a little bit. So every once in a while I just touch and make sure it's not overheating because it will shut itself off and that'll piss me off. Right here, I'm just throwing that half guard back on my um, on my master um, magic clip, and um, just fading it. Any any spots I miss, any shadows I see, I'm just fading them in all the way around with the half guard. Um, switch between uh, half guard and no guard, just to fade in this bottom line. So now that we've kind of faded in the sides, the skin faded into the top, got it pretty much done. I'm just going to go ahead and start my edge up and then go back and do any touch-ups I need to do later on. And I'm going to take my fine tooth comb here and I'm going to brush down these, these little hairs on his forehead. I don't want to push his line up, so I'm going to bring his line down and just start from the bottom of those baby hairs to create a line. And I'm going to do this with my my outliners here, Andy's outliners. And after we get one side, just spin them on around. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, brush them little hairs down and line it up. Kinda wanna go with the shape of the head. So your line looks straight when you're facing it. So after I fade everything in, I'm gonna hit this bottom line that I made with my foil shavers with my um, and this outliners just to erase that that little, little light line that was in there at the bottom. And after I do that, I'm just gonna go back through, kind of touch up some things that I've seen, some shadows that I saw looking back in the mirror, and um, just kind of fix a few things up. The cut is pretty much done. Like I said, the client doesn't want to take anything off the top. He doesn't want to touch the top. We're growing it out, and um, I'm gonna curl sponge it down the line. Now after I've erased all the lines and cleaned it up and everything, I'm going to come through with the razor and just the final part of the haircut is just crisp up these, these lines and take out any little bits of hair behind the ears that I, that I can see. Now my camera does shut off at the end of this haircut before I can show you the finishing product, but I fixed the issue. My next video will have the full, the full video with the final product and everything and the beard as well. But if you liked what you've seen here, please thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and uh, tune in next week for the next video.